F5, LTM, right? So basically, F5 is a vendor who generates some solutions, and uh, it's it's like your Cisco, Juniper, and whatever the network vendors you have. The F5 is the vendor, and uh, LTM is a one one particular solution from the F5. So basically, LTM is a local traffic manager. So basically, the main purpose of the LTM is to load balance the traffic. So whatever the application traffic that it is receiving from the public and or from your internal side. So basically, LTM makes sure that uh, the requests are load balanced to a group of servers. Now again, these group of servers, they must be running the same application. Now, whatever it is, they, these, these uh, service group of servers that you are binding it to an uh, URL or to an IP address, so th these all should be running the same application since uh, the request from the outside is hitting on a web and, and uh, to the back end, the, the, the request is forwarded to these uh, pool of servers. So they, these, must, these must run the same application. So basically, if I, LTM, uh, is also called as an AD, ADC, which is an application. Delivery controller. So it uh, the, the main purpose of uh, ADC is to optimize the application and uh, deliver the application to the client. So it, it, it makes sure that it makes sure that uh, at the end of the day, client is not uh, happy. It, it, it makes it sorry, he is happy accessing this application. So it gives a good, it, it, it gives a, a application response within no time. It, it makes sure that a response is given within no time with optimized solution and uh, and and to and it also optimize the backend uh, servers. So again, to optimize or to off the load from the backend servers, it takes the load of SSL, which uh, F5 LTM responds to SSL handshakes on behalf of the servers, and uh, it also offloads a compression duty from the servers so on behalf of these uh, backend servers f5 compress the data towards the client side and it, it you if you want uh, you can do some caching so that if a request matches that is coming from the client side if it matches on a f5 f5 don't even has to forward it to the backend servers it optimized uh, it whatever the response it has it it, it, it itself sends a response from the F5 itself, so it don't even forward the request to the backend servers. So the 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 overall criteria, the overall idea here is uh, F5 LTM. LTM make sure that yeah the backend servers are uh, uh, not having the load, and at the same time it is making sure that client is having a good uh, experience accessing the application. Okay. So ideally, in order to make this all happen, F5 works as a proxy. Now, what do you mean by proxy is uh, when, when, when your client is accessing, when he's initiating a uh, TCP three-way handshake, the, those handshake packets are not directly sent to the backend server, no. F5 response back on behalf of the server. So technically what here happening is uh, when a client uh, initiates a connection that is terminated here itself, on the F5 itself. Now on behalf of the client towards the server, F5 takes a responsibility and initiates a connection. So again, uh, this is again, now. Uh, OS operating system uh, uh, behavior. Uh, 
are you provide this ppt to everyone yes uh, you you will have that of these uh, pptes and you you can uh, consult uh, consult uh, uninet for all these specific doubts and the other one is asking me is sony arch so is that the default behavior of doing proxy yeah if i by default uh, behaves as a proxy right and yeah if you don't want it to behave like that you can skip it you can just uh, uh you can you you should be able to do it you and you can do it but the default if i uh, ltm behaves as a proxy so it stops the connections uh, in between and uh, it it act, it acts as a transparent device in between so the client doesn't know that he, they, there is a device in between and even the server doesn't know there is a device device in between okay so basically when i speak this uh, in detail of this basically you have two types of uh, operating systems operating systems which process packet by packet and the other is a proxy now packet by packet is like uh, let's say you have a router or you have a switch and there is a server connected in the back end and you have a user if user wants to contact the this this, this server his packet would first hit the switch and switch has nothing to do it just checks the mac address if it is an l2 switch and even if, if it it checks an ip address if it is a, an l3 switch and it just forwards a packet to the back end server and it it is not stopping the packet in between it is not responding in 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 response to the to the client from the server it's not doing it it's just uh, for forwarding the packet to the switch and so server has to generate the response and that response is again forwarded back to the client so that means that this switch here has nothing to do with the packet it just checks the l2 and l3 address based on the behavior if it is an l2 it checks a l2 if it is an l3 it checks a l3 but ideally it's not stopping it it's not responding back on behalf of the server right so it's not breaking the connection it's just a it, it, it does a packet by packet flow but when you speak about the proxy it stops the frame or packet all the way and it responds back on behalf of the server so for a single session there are two technical connections so the response is received on this connection client side connection and the whatever the request i'm sorry the request is received on client side connection and that request is taken from this connection and send it to the back end server over the server side connection and this is a proxy basically your rackstoreuninets.com this is a url for your labs if you are not registered yet you can go and register sign up and uh, after after you sign up you have to drop a message to uninets so that uh, they can give you the uh, extended time to uh, practice so if if you if you sign up you will you you are, you are not permitted to access the labs you will have an access for only for one hour as per me but i don't exactly how much duration so if you want to access the labs you have to message them so they can give you some access okay so you can uh, uh, drop a message or even you can uh, call them and you can tell uh, your name with your email id and your mobile number with which you have uh, uh, with which you have uh, uh, registered signed up here okay so if you are uh, uh, if you have uh, enrolled for this uh, course yeah then they will find out you you guys in their database and they will extend the lab okay all right so here we go so bgp ftfi ltm version 14 this is a lab 
we use. So you just right click power on yeah. the interface is very simple you just uh, click on it after the after you power it on you will go to the console okay if you are uh, not able to get into another tab for the console then uh, you you can just uh, again uh, fall, uh, fall back to uninix so they, they have their technical team they'll get back to you and they'll help you 